guys so uh, everyone has uh, approximately worked on react sometime or the other right so uh, we have all of the uh, github gitlab and your private repositories okay but most probably you don't know how to showcase your work or maybe uh, have a portfolio website you know uh, just like i have one uh, let me show you that so th this is my portfolio website and this one is uh, simply uh, a react website and it's served by gitlab so i don't have any uh, other you know hosting services that i pay for okay that's cool right so uh, let's try what we can do with this okay so gitlab provides you uh, a lot of options when we talk about uh, what can be done with the continuous integration and continuous deployment so we have a very simple gitlab ci file okay which is going to be executed every time you push your code and it's going to deploy it for you okay so let let me uh, give you a brief about this so i have a, a simple website this one right uh, react port for one let me start it on my local machine there you go okay so this is basic for uh, like any uh, react application okay you do npm start and you have your application up and running cool and you you probably have it in your repository on gitlab or github okay now what additional things that we are going to do we're going to add a ci file so on the root of your application create a gitlab hyphen ci yaml and make sure this is not yaml it's yml okay i i, I stuck into for a bit okay so uh provide your node application you know uh, version number you can just check it over here what node version you have node i version everybody knows that right so then then i have to uh, distributed this entire build and deploy in two process okay stages build and deploy um i'm asking gitlab to actually cache my node modules so it doesn't take um, a lot of time while building right okay so uh this is my build stage and uh, we are removing our uh build folder if there is any by mistake you post it in your repository because i did it for sure right then we do the npm install just like you do it for your fresh application when you clone a fresh react application you got to do npm install to have your old node modules and everything you do that you do the npm run build to get the production deployment you know the package and everything and then you remove the public now why i'm uh, removing this public is because uh, gitlab is gonna need the public folder to be uh, published on your website okay to, so he just need the public folder for himself so if you do not remove this it's your sample public folder which is having the sample code before you have actually built your application that's gonna be public right so you don't want that so we remove this public folder and our output folder which is the build folder in this scenario uh, we copied this uh, into the public folder in line number 19 okay uh, in line number 18 is basically uh, copying build index.html to build 404.html now why is that like everyone knows uh, whenever we have a react application or we just any uh, you know single page application angular or whatever it is we have a 404 error if we try to reload the page itself uh, on the browser so we gotta do a redirection mechanism via nginx or anything like apache and uh, we redirect everything uh, for 404 to the index.html page now 
we don't have that flexibility over here so what i did is i copied the index.html for the 404 html so in case of 404 this is the page that's going to be loaded okay i hope you understand this uh next is uh i make my uh, public folder as an artifact and moving on to the next stage so we that's where we gotta do deploy and there's nothing much you actually have to do over here it's just you provide the deploy stage and gitlab will do the rest for you and uh, that's why i just had the ls uh command just anything i want okay and uh, just notify that public is my artifact uh public folder is my artifact actually that's it okay once you do this and you publish your uh i mean push your code with this ci file right you will notice something over here in ci cd pipelines and you will have something over here okay and this probably should look something like this for you it will do the builds it will do the deploy okay and things are rolling cool now you go to uh, settings and pages right you will see a new thing over here earlier it would be like this entire two boxes were not there this this part so as soon as you publish your ci file and there's a pipeline build uh, you will get this okay now if i open this page it's gonna be voila right this was in my local machine and this is now deployed on GitLab. Okay, so now you can have this in your README or anywhere else, right? Now, this one tricky part I forgot to mention is uh, that your uh, domain over here is having a nested folder or a nested directory, right? And that React won't work with. Okay, so uh, most of the styles and JS files will not be loaded. So, what you gotta do is you have to create a .env file and mention your public url as anything that your url mentions over here that's most probably be the name of your project that you have in gitlab and that's it this is basically being used over here to provide the public url to the uh, javascript files the css files or anything else cool that's about it guys let me know if you uh, have any questions else